All right, hey traders, I'm going to answer a question in this uh, in this video, and it's based on a question that I got from Bruce Hiller. Hiller, I think it is. So let's get straight into it. Guys, do not play trade based on what you've seen in this video. Trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There's no guarantees of making money in the markets. So be smart about the way you're in trading and investing in the markets, okay? Now, let's go have a look at this here. Firstly, let's have a look at this here. Uh, he said the, the question was, and let me bring this over here. The question was here. Hi, John, can you use a stop loss in options? This is such a scary world to me. I suffer from options anxiety. <laughs> you don't need to worry, but you don't even have to suffer from that. Um, the first thing first thing I must say about options, when I, now remember, there's a lot of things you can do with options. You can do spreads, you can write naked options. Um, you can just buy options. There's a lot of things you can do with options. The way that I trade, Bruce, is I just buy the option the market runs on from my, runs in my favor. I sell that option for a profit. The end. That's all I do. I don't do any of that other stuff. So yes, that other stuff can really be risky, and it can cause a lot more loss than than, than you can even imagine. But if you start to use spreads, you can minimize risk. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But when we're talking about just buying options, buying it, um, and the market moves in your in your favor. Um, then you sell that option for a profit, or if it doesn't move in your favor, you sell it for loss. This is what I do, Bruce, to obviously limit that. Firstly, you'd have to be worried about that because the amount of money you put into a trade is really essentially 100% of what, essentially what is really at risk in that there. So what I say is that when you're trading, don't put, say, more than, you know, at, for starters anyway, say put 2% of your account in any given one trade. And then as you start to get better at learning how to identify good trading setups, Stick into the plan, good trade management, emotional control, all that sort of stuff. Then you can start to increase it to 5%. And that's what I do, 5%, 10% or more, and so on and so forth. I also then trade in the money options because that gives me a bit of a buffer. But then also, um, also when, when when you're looking at options and when, you, when you're trading options, you can actually use a stop loss in options. Now... There's a lot of different. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. Is there's a, or sorry. There's a lot of different um, approaches you can do with your options. You can set a stop loss, or you can't set it, or you don't set a stop loss. Um, and yes, so yes, you can. You can actually um, with some of the brokers out there. The broker I use is Interactive Brokers. That I, that's who I trade with. Uh, there's actually a thing called a stop limit. So therefore, you would say, okay. So if I'm buying if I'm buying this option right now at say one at uh, one dollar and if it drops down to seventy cents, um, what 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 you're gonna say is I want to be triggered. I want to be triggered. My then I want my market. To, I want my option to be triggered in the market and then taken out at seventy cents. That's essentially what you what what you can do to say okay I'm protecting myself from any more than a thirty percent loss if you wanted to do that. Um, and that's, and again, that's totally up to you, how you want to have your risk management, so on and so forth. But remember, it's all about, um, it's all about probability. It's all about that if, um, the problem with options is they, they can swing quite wild and quite violently with throughout the day, depending on what's actually happening with the, uh, the market as well too. So there's, there's a bit of an answer to that question for you there, Bruce, um, and the options are not scary. All you have to do is make sure that you're placing a small percent of your account on any given one trade, and and then and then you can just and then you can go from there. Make sense? So I hope that helps you out. Before you go, make sure you grab the free Grab the Markets by the Balls training course. In this training course, you're going to learn the top 13 deadly mistakes, the success formula, charting boundaries, the PT method, the ultimate trading system, the blast off trading system, number one in trading indicator, the mean dollar trade and money management, how successful traders approach the market, and so much more. Get this trading course for free right now. Click on the very first link in the description to get this whole complete trading course to give you the edge on your side of trading this market. Do that right now, and I'll see you on the other side.